So k is a very useful quantity, but it only applies to systems that are already at equilibrium. And so if we want to think about systems that are not at equilibrium, we define something called a reaction quotient. Now this reaction quotient is basically the same as an equilibrium constant. So we write Q, uh, if we have our generic reaction from before, it's still that we'll have C, you know, the concentration of C raised to the C, concentration of D raised to the D, concentration of A raised to the A, concentration of B raised to the B. But the difference is that these are not at equilibrium. Meaning this could cover a case where, for example, you just have A and B and you just put your reaction together and no products have been formed yet. So Q will be equal to zero at that point. Whereas for any other reaction, um, the value of K can never be completely zero. It can be pretty close. It can be very, very small. Um, but you know, for a system that's not at equilibrium, you know, Q can be any value, right? But K is fixed. K is always a constant. Uh, which is why it's given that term, equilibrium constant. To get to equilibrium, a reaction will adjust until the value of Q, which again is something that's going to change as a reaction progresses, is equal to k. So for example, if you know we have a reaction going from a and b to c and d, and we mix a and b together, at that instant we mix them together, we have no c and d and our reaction quotient will be zero. As the reaction proceeds, we will start producing c and d. And we'll produce c and d until this ratio between, you know, this defined by this reaction quotient is equal to k. So if we have a value of q that is less than k, um, what has to change to get Q to become K? Well, that means we have to increase the values of C and D, you know, our numerator. So numerator has to increase. Which means our reaction will proceed to the right. Our, pro our, our products will be produced, our reactants will be used up. If we have the opposite, give myself some space here. If Q is bigger than K, our numerator has to decrease, or we could say the denominator has to increase. So the reaction will go to the left instead. And this is the case even if you know our value of k is very large or very small, which is often the case in chemistry, um, this, this relationship between q and k will always hold. Uh, and so reactions proceed to try and get their concentrations to match uh, the value of the equilibrium constant. Um, and so this applies in chemistry to the uh, well-known principle, Le Chatelier's principle, which is basically saying what's uh, what's above here, right? That Q will adjust until it uh, equals K.